what's up guys and welcome to my newest creative world, creative world number 5. It feels so long since I did my last world tour video, my creative world number 4. I actually did a whole full tour of that world. If you guys want to check that out, just feel free to check out the card system and the links below down in the description. I'll include not only my last creative world tour, but I'll also include a few more videos as well. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you absolutely everything that I've been building over these past couple of weeks. I'll let you guys know whether it has a tutorial, whether it'll get one, why it is. I'll let you guys know all of the relevant information. So, with all of the houses, I'm going to give you guys a nice little 300 and 60 degree view all the way around them so you guys can get a feel for what they look like and everything else I'll just kind of do a little bit of a drive by so this is my latest quartz house I can't remember which quartz house this is exactly quartz house number 13 21 37 I'm not entirely sure which this is but if you go into my quartz house playlist you will find that I have made a tutorial of this particular house I love all of my quartz houses and I especially like this one as well it's a little bit different to all of my other quartz houses it combines several elements I was just about to say it com it combines several elements escalators I, I don't know where i was going with that but it combines several elements and it looks very nice you guys can check that out in the quartz the quartz world tour house the quartz house tutorial playlist that's the one check that out Moving on down, here we have Doge, part of the meme series that I've been running on the channel. You guys can find a tutorial for Doge on the channel if you so wish. <laughs> that face cracks me up. I don't know what it is, but that face always cracks me up. You guys can find a tutorial for this. I've written the meme playlist or on the channel. He's pretty recent. Uh, moving on down, somebody that doesn't make me laugh as much is Pedo Bear. Here we have Pedo Bear, guys. Again, part of the meme series that I've been running on the channel. He is the second to last meme that I actually made a tutorial for. You guys can find him in the meme playlist or in the recent activity on the channel Pedo Bear. Moving on down, so far down here, moving on down, here we have the PS Vita. Now, in the video version of the PS Vita, I actually put something on the screen. You guys can see that this one's a little bit blank, but this is a nice big PS Vita pixel art. It's actually really, really easy to make, and in the video version, I kind of I kind of just threw something on the screen at the end. It's all cyan-y and bluey, and it all looks very nice. You guys can find a tutorial for the PS Vita on the channel if you guys so wish. As a matter of fact, you can find it in the playlist Consoles and Controllers. That's a real playlist, and it's actually quite good. Moving on down, here we have one of my latest wooden houses that I've made. This thing takes a couple of elements from several wooden houses that I've made in the past. And as a matter of fact, not even just wooden houses, I also made a survival house, which kind of looks like this. So, this is kind of like a house on stilts with like a built-in balcony slash porch. It's a really cool concept, I think. And if you guys want to make this, it's actually a really easy build as well. I mean, it might look a little difficult, it might look as though there's quite a bit going on, but trust me when I tell you, this is actually a really, really easy house to build. It uh, You shouldn't run into any trouble whatsoever building this thing, and I really, really like it. I really, really like this house. Like I said, it combines a few different elements from some of my other houses, and I quite like it. So, you guys can find this in the Wooden House playlist if you so choose. Moving on down here, we have a YouTuber. This is Mumbo Jumbo, and and I believe the last YouTuber that I'd made in statue form. If you guys want to make him, you guys can check out the YouTuber, the exclusive YouTuber statue tutorial playlist. It's actually called that, the exclusively YouTubers statue playlist. You guys can find him there. I really like this skin, by the way. It's, it's quite nice. It's quite simple. Moving on down, here we have something that I haven't made yet, and I'm not sure if I will make him. This is an 8-bit version of Martian Manhunter. I've been making an 8-bit version... 8-bit versions, get some grammar going. I've been making 8-bit versions of the Justice League. Like, I've made The Flash, I've made Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman... Aquaman, and there might be somebody else in there as well, but I've been making all of those guys, and I I, I just have this guy left to do. I, I should probably tutorial him, but if you want to find him, or any of the 8-bit Justice League, feel free to check out the 8-bit tutorial playlist. You'll find all of those. 
Moving on down, you guys will actually not see a tutorial for this yet, but I have made it. This is my hotel number three, and this is a very, very cool looking building, or at least I think so. I love this thing. I love all of my hotels. I've only made two of them before this one, but I like this one a lot. I, I think that whilst I like all of them kind of equally, I really, 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 like this one. I've made a tutorial for this, like I said, but it won't be posted about a week from when you guys see this video. So, as soon as this video goes up, wait until next Saturday, and then I have made a tutorial for this. Despite the fact that it looks kind of hard to make, it's kind of big, it's kind of huge, it's actually extremely simple, like all of my other hotels. If you guys haven't checked them out, by the way, feel free to check out my Hotel 1 and 2. I love those so much, and you guys like them as well. Very, very cool buildings, as well as this one. Got some palm trees, we've got the fountains, we've got the pool, we've got the gorgeous hotel. I love this thing. Ah, this should exist in real life, and it might. I can't remember where I came up with the design for this. It might actually be based on a real hotel. I don't actually think it is. I think this one was kind of like uh, something that I pulled out of my head. Could be wrong. Who knows? But hotel number three, look out for it next week. Moving on down, here we have a little bit of pixel art. Here we have the Star Wars logo. A nice, a nice colourful looking version, rather than the standard black and yellow. You guys can find a tutorial for this on the channel if you so choose. Check the logo's playlist if you have any trouble. If not, type in Star Wars and it should probably come up. Star Wars logo. Here we have... I haven't made a tutorial for this yet. I thought I did. This is the... I can't remember the name of this particular emoji. It's like Winky tongue out emo I, d I don't know what I personally I'd call this the cheeky emoji if I was naming them I can't remember the name of this one but it's a very cool looking emoji I designed this about a week ago and I have yet to make a tutorial for this I'm not sure why that is but you guys can look out for this on the channel sometime soon it will definitely get made because I really like it um, let's move on down guys that's one row complete we only have two more to do we only have three rows of stuff but you guys know that this can take a while so moving on to the next row here we have the exact opposite of the cheeky emoji here we have the anger emoji Ugh. you guys haven't seen a tutorial for this yet but i've actually made it and it will go up on the channel sometime soon probably with another emoji maybe even that one right there behind it who knows it probably will so that's the anger emoji look out for it soon if you particularly like it um moving on down here we have the Avengers logo, Assemble! So this is the Avengers logo, this is based on the more colourful version of the uh, Avengers logo, the Age of Ultron one where it's all red and nice. I'd, I had to make it because it's red, red's my favourite colour, that's why it's next to the anger emoji, and... I have made a tutorial for this, and it has yet to go up on the channel, but it will, you guys can... You know, you can look forward to this. I don't know when it's going to get posted. Sometime soon, I hope. Uh, moving on down, here we have... Oh, God, I like this one. This is the scared emoji, guys. This is one of my favorite emojis that I've ever made. I really, really love this one. I actually built this on live stream. Twitch.tv slash TSMC36. I'll include that in the description below as well. I actually made this on live stream due to a request, and you guys were very happy with it there, and I'm very happy with it here as well. I have made a tutorial for this already. You guys can check out the Emoji Tutorials playlist if you so choose, or just check through the channel. Moving on down, and we might have to zoom out for this one. My god, this is the WWE logo. Who did this take a long time to make? Not only did it take a long time to make, it took a long time to design. If you guys want to make this, feel free to check out the tutorial on the channel. WWE logo, you can find it in the logos playlist, but have about... Whoops. Have about an hour spare, because that's roughly how long it will take you. Coming on down here, we have... My Suburban Cabin. I, I don't know why. But I decided that I wanted to make a suburban ha house style cabin, if that makes any sense. I've made a couple of cabin type builds in the past, and they're always out of things like birch wood and 
all spruce wood and oak wood and and stuff like that. And that wood, I'm actually thinking about, I'm kind of stuttering. Oh yeah, it's just like regular birch wood, this thing. It kind of looks like it has little birds on it, the birch wood. I, I've made cabins out of that stuff, but I never made like a suburban style cabin. And you guys actually really like this thing. Um, If you guys can, if you guys want to check it out, feel free to check out the... I. Just the regular house playlist, or type in Suburban House and it'll come up. I'm not sure I've actually came up with a Suburban House playlist yet, but I definitely will because we're up to five of those things. You guys can see the mushroom through the door. Look at him. What are you doing, mushroom? Yeah, I'll see you later. Moving on down, here we have another one of my Suburban Houses. My god, I love these Suburban Houses. This is, I believe, Suburban House number three. You guys love this one as well. I have already made a tutorial for this on the channel. If you guys want to check that out, like I said, just type in Suburban House. But I think I'm also going to put together a Suburban House playlist. As a matter of fact, as soon as this video... As, as soon as this video's ended, I will get doing that. Very cool house. Very much like it, as I like all of my suburban houses, in all fairness. I love these things. I, uh... I, I knew that I'd be making a lot more of these as soon as I put up the first one. The first suburban house I made just went absolutely insane on the channel. And you guys were like, well, well that's it. We need more of them. Same thing with the hotels. You guys love these and you love the hotels. And uh, you guys can expect to see a couple more of these. As I, I've been making a lot of these recently. So there may be a little bit of a gap. But I am still designing them. And I am going to boast more. But like I said, Suburban House number 3 I believe. If you guys want to make it. Moving on down here we have... Grumpy Cat. Again, another one of my meme-related builds. This is Grumpy Cat. You guys love this one a lot, and as do I. If you want to find him, check out the meme playlist on the channel. I've already made him. Here we have, and this caused a little bit of controversy, this is the vomit emoji, or the puke emoji, as I entitled him on the channel. If you guys want a tutorial for him, you can find him on the channel in the emoji playlist. However, you guys didn't seem too happy with this one, and I'm not entirely sure why. So, I made this on stream due to a request. Some guy linked me a picture of this emoji. I made it. I thought it was amazing, and I decided to tutorial it and put it up on the channel. But you guys then... It caused some sort of backlash because apparently it doesn't exist on mobile. Like, it's, it's not like an iPhone emoji or it's not like an Android emoji. You guys didn't like that. I had no clue. But I still think it's a cool emoji and you can find it on the channel anyway. I did it. I did it due to... Yeah, I did it due to a request. There we go. Tongue twister out of the way. So, I didn't check the thing. I just think it's a cool build. Moving on down. Here we have another one of my suburban houses. This is the latest suburban house. And as a matter of fact... You guys won't have seen it just yet, but this will have been uploaded the day before, literally just the day before that this video gets released on the channel. So this is going to be Suburban House number 5. Very cool looking house, as are all of my other Suburban Houses. Not to do my own horn or anything, but I love every single one of these things. Um, you guys can find a tutorial for this on the channel. Like I said, I'm, going, I'm definitely going to assemble, assemble the Suburban House house tutorial playlist i have to do it it has to be done there's not there's nothing more to be said than that so suburban house number five if you guys want to check it out you can feel free very cool looking house that's enough of that we've seen enough of the house there we go that shot as well that's my favorite one moving on down here we have look at this thing this is my hospital look at it isn't it beautiful i sound like such such I, w I was just about to call myself something that I should. Let's keep this PG. I, I, this is my hospital. I very much enjoy my hospital. Very easy to build. Very, very easy design. And looks very cool, if you ask me. If, if you add the exterior that I've added as well, I think it adds an extra layer of cool to this thing. I don't know what it is about this particular build, but I love this hospital that I've made. Plus, it's actually got all of the working interior as well. Like, there's even an elevator. It's not really an elevator. It's kind of a staircase. There's, like, patient rooms. There's a gift shop. There's a reception area. This is a pretty cool build, if you ask me. Very easy to build as well, and looks very, very nice. I'm very much a fan of this hospital. As you may have may have been able to tell just at the start of this little intro here, had to stop myself sounding a little bit too much like, uh, 
Like, uh, like I love myself too much. A little bit narcissistic, if you will. But that's Hospital, guys. You guys can find a tutorial for this on the channel if you like. Made it not so long ago. Moving on down here, we have another YouTuber. There's not been many of these guys. This is, I believe, Craner Commentates. I hope that I've got his name right. I don't always. But I think it's Craner Commentates. Um, you guys can find a tutorial of him on the channel if you so wish. You can check the YouTuber playlist. Um, nothing much to say about this guy other than the fact I like his shirt. Moving on down to the third and final row. Ignore that, by the way. That's that's row number four that I'm working on. That's that's another meme-related thing. That's Lenny Face, if you guys recognize it. It's backwards for us now. Imagine it flipped the other way. I might even show you a little later on. But moving on to row number three. This is my gun emoji. I don't know why you guys asked for me to make a gun emoji. I reciprocated. You guys seem to like this thing. You guys can find this in the emoji tutorial playlist if you want it. Coming on down. Now, this isn't complete, but you should get a decent idea of what it's going to look like just from this. This is Taco Bell. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm sounding like a narcissist again. I'm sa I'm, I've got to stop that, but I, I think it does. I really like this. Um, this is the beginnings of Taco Bell. This is going to be the next restaurant that I've done, as you guys already know. I've already made McDonald's and KFC. I figured, hey, why not make Taco Bell? And here we go. It's going to look roughly like this, as you might imagine. Imagine, like, obviously, the left-hand side is also on the right-hand side, and then we throw it back a bit. We add in a drive through and everything looks dandy. That's how this is going to go, and I don't think it will be a difficult one to build either. It might be, actually. I'm not entirely sure, but that's Taco Bell, guys. Hopefully you like it, or hopefully you like what it's, what it's kind of started off as. I'm going to be making this, I'm going to be finishing this really soon. Uh, coming on down, here we have... Ba -ba -ba -ba. This is another one of like my little wooden cabin style houses. Pretty cool looking house, if you ask me. It's uh, very, very small, but that's kind of the idea. I might even upload this on Wednesday. I've not made the tutorial for it yet, but it's going to be coming up. Very cool looking little miniature house. Um, again, like I said, I think I might do this on Wednesday if I do it. I probably will. I do really like this. I like the materials that I've used. I also haven't made, like, a really tiny house in a while, and I like little tiny houses for whatever reason. No tutorial for this yet, but I'm probably gonna do it soon. Um, here we have just a regular emoji. This is kind of, kind of just like the sleeping emoji, the snooze emoji. Um, those Zs look a little weird, I'll admit that, but it's kind of difficult to make a Z. I might alter this thing, but I, I haven't made a tutorial for this yet, but it, it'll probably be coming up on the channel at some point soon, probably with the Zs a little bit altered. Here we have Zombie Herobrine. One of you guys on Twitter requested that I make Zombie Herobrine. And you know what? For whatever reason, I felt like making him. So here he is. I've already made a tutorial for him, but it's not up on the channel just yet. I have made it, though. Know that. Coming on down still, here we have another one of my wooden houses. I believe the last wooden house that I posted to the channel. Very cool little house. Um, very easy to make. I, I don't know what to say about this. I quite like the interior. I like the interior, but with this house quite a bit as well. It's a little bit, a little bit random. Here we have a coat rack. Here we have a TV. Got a little library in the back. Upstairs we have a little bed. I've got a jacuzzi in in the bedroom, and we also have some sort of magic crystal ball. I don't know. I quite like this house. Uh, just because of how easy it is, and just because I think it's the materials. I like using those materials a lot. I think they all go together very well. Cool house. Wooden house number 18, I believe. I can't remember. You guys can find it on the channel if you want it. Wooden house playlist. Um, moving on down, here we have another meme. Oh, here we have Pepe. Pepe the sad frog. God, he couldn't look sadder, could he? I've actually made a tutorial for this guy. He's the last meme-related build that I've made. You guys can find a tutorial for him on the channel or in the meme playlist. Oh, oh I get sad just looking at him. And then there's, like, Grumpy Cat in the background, like... <laughs> um, here we have... Ah, the Spider-Man logo. So, originally, I just made the spider portion of this, and I thought that it was a little dull. So, I put it in a big, giant red rectangle. This is a Spider-Man logo, um, as close as I can get to it, anyway. 
And hopefully you guys like this, because I think I might be doing this on the channel sometime soon. I quite like this. I, I do like Spider-Man, as you guys know. It's my favourite superhero, so I might have to do this. Not that hard to make, but there are a lot, quite a few quite a few working parts involved in this thing. Um, no tutorial just yet, but like I said, probably coming up. And here we have the, well, actually the second to last thing that I'm going to show you. This is Steve riding a pig. You guys have asked me to make this so many times, and I've never felt like it, and for whatever reason, I was just flipping through Google Images, and I saw somebody made a Spongebob statue, and they put it on a pig. <laughs> so I decided to do the same thing, but with Steve. He's holding a diamond sword, the pig's got a saddle, he's looking very cool. Steve's kind of just... He's, he's, he looks as though he's about to lead an army into battle. I haven't made a tutorial for this just yet, but I think I'm going to put this up on the channel sometime soon. Maybe even within the next week. I'm making the tutorial this week, but I don't know when it'll be going up. Very cool statue, though. I'm sad that I haven't made him beforehand because I think that it looks really amazing. I really, really like how it came out. And, uh, like I said, you guys can expect to see this on the channel sometime soon. Let me just give you my favourite view of this once again. Yeah, look at this. I don't know what it is about this, but this looks so cool. It makes me want to do other stuff like this, but I just don't know what to do. Anyway, guys, that is just about all I have to show you. I do have one last thing, like I said. I, I have the Lenny face. Let me show you what it looks like at the moment, and then in the next Creative World Tour, I can show you guys a bit of an update when it's all filled in and stuff, but... This, for the most part, is my Creative World Tour, guys. It's It's been a little while since I've done one of these. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed everything that you've seen so far. A lot of this stuff has already been up on the channel or is in the process of going up. So, um, you know, hopefully I've let you guys know what's coming up and I've alerted you of some of the things that, you know, have appeared on the channel and you just haven't seen them. But, yeah, hopefully I've done one of those things, if not all of them. Um, if you guys like this video, I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a like, a favorite, a share anything that you'd feel like doing tell me out guys i would just vastly appreciate it feel free to let me know if you have any ideas for any improvements on any one of those builds that's partially what's this what this is about let me know about all of that um also let me know i this is this is something that i'm very interested in I want to know, are there any other builds like Steve on the Pig? Like, is there anything else that I could combine together that you guys would like? Like, I've done a couple of these things in the past. Like, I've done Diamond Armor Steve. I've done, like, Explorer Steve. I've done, obviously, now Steve on the Pig. I mean, is there anything else that you guys want to see? I think that they're all really cool. Um, what else, guys? I suppose Feel free to just leave a comment down below if you don't want to. Let me know what would you like to see me build next. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Feel free to check out the card system in the links below down in the description. I'll leave just about every single playlist that I've talked about, if I can, there's like five, I can only link five in the card system, so I'll try my best, thank you very much for watching guys, and if you want to see another tour, like, favourite, share, and I'll see you in the next video.